Hey everyone, so recently I have received a lot of requests from customers wanting to incorporate our new ability to send international text messages with their applications, so I thought I'd come up with a simple use case and show you how. In my example, I have a public-facing customer registration form, and then you can see I have two separate fields, one to collect the country code, and right next to it we have the phone number field. Before you can send international text messages to each country, you will need to enable those countries in the account settings. So when you click on the shield icon, you can click on account settings, go to the SMS tab, and here you'll need to add the countries that you want to send those text messages to. For the interest of time, I have only included six in my example, and you can see all six of these countries are already listed in my submission form. Now let's take a look at my table structure. So we'll go back to the home page. I'll open up that application. It's a very simple demo. And I have three different tables. I have a table for users to collect the registration info. And you'll notice that I have my country code field and I have my phone number field as two separate fields. So when we send a text message, we're going to concatenate these two fields in order to have the full phone number that includes the country code field. My second table includes the lookup of all the country codes. So I created a separate table that's going to list my country code as a display. And I also have my second field that includes the country code. So this is what the end user is going to see on the submission form. But when they submit, we're going to use the actual country code and not the name of the country. And for my third table, we have the events. And I just wanted to demonstrate a simple reminder. So the day before the event, I want the ability to send a text message to my user to let them know and remind them, hey, the event is tomorrow. Here's the text message. You know, if you want to show up, you can. So it's a simple relationship. We have a one-to-many where one user is linked to many events if they do sign up for those events. And then we have the very important field here, date of the event, because we need to be able to track the date when that event is going to happen. And we want to send the text message the day before the event. Now for the data page, when the user signs up on the registration form, let me show you how the data page is going to trigger that SMS to be sent. So once again, I have my country code field and I'm using my lookup table. You can see field for display is going to be the country code, which includes the country name. And field for value is just going to be the code itself, which has the plus sign and the number. And then you have the phone number field. On the following screen, in the messaging options, you want to enable SMS. Your phone number field, make sure you select the phone number field. And then what I'm doing is I'm pending my country code field from that dropdown. So this is how Caspi is going to know what the country code is going to be with the phone number. And together, we're going to send that SMS as soon as the user fills out that registration form. You can also enable notification SMS. I'm going to show you both. So on the subsequent screen, when you hit Next, this is the acknowledgement. So as soon as the user signs up using that registration form, we're going to send them an SMS with that message and a notification. You can include any phone number that you liked in the to field. If you want like an admin level user to be notified, hey, you have a new registered member that just signed up. Next thing that we're going to look at is a task. As I mentioned before, I want to be able to send a reminder the day before the event to my end user. So we click on edit. Notice that I'm running this task daily at midnight. You can customize that if you'd like. You can send this SMS on demand, or you can configure the task. I have the frequency set to daily, but you can run the task hourly, weekly. It's completely up to you. And then what I've done here is I included the action to send SMS. It's a simple widget. You just drag and drop. And once you include that widget, you're going to be able to click on the gear icon, and then I selected my option here to be able to receive data or select data from the user's table. I clicked on the second gear icon to join my two tables because we needed to join the user table to the events table. And the reason for that is because we need, we need that field date of the event. And you'll see why in just a moment. So we join these two fields to the events table using the user ID, which is the primary key in the user table and the foreign key in the events table. And then we have a simple condition here that looks at the difference in days. So you can see difference in days. You can also do years. You can do hours. It's up to you. We have the field of the event from the events table. This is the main reason why we have to join these two tables so that we can pull that field from the events table and today's date. 
So if today's date is the 13th and tomorrow is the 14th, that equals to one. And that is our condition. So if that's true, then we're going to send that SMS a day before the event with the following message. And you can see here we have the country code optional. So I included my country code field from the user table. And I'm concatenating that with the phone number field from the user table. And this is the text message that's going to be sent out to the user to let them know, hey, the event is tomorrow. Here's the title of the event as a reminder. There are many different use cases that you can incorporate the international text message. You just need to enable each of the countries that you're looking to work with and then just bring them back into your application, either via a trigger, data page, or a task. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.